All right, I'm back here with tools today. I just... All right, we're gonna stop that there. Let's start off from scratch. We're gonna take all this stuff out and we are gonna remake a workbench from scratch. 100% from scratch. Been a few I had this for a few years I'm having issues with this hey guys this is actually a fantastic tool to do this stuff with like a perfect DIY even a professional to do the small stuff two inch screws three inch screws this is my favorite tool that was ever made. Yeah, the brand the brand nailers for that one. All right, so welcome to my new shop. I'm trying to get used to the camera angles and what I actually have to do for the camera. So for the past couple days, I've been working on the shop, and as you can see, I have a lot more counter space. It goes all the way over there as well. For a little bit, my friend Jack helped me out with this build, and uh, it's not too shabby if you ask me. It's not. I, I love this shop. It looks seriously good. It's so much better than what it was before. And for sure, this channel, I just used what I had because I was already doing stuff to the house and the yard for the past couple years, and both look fantastic. But it was time to uh, upgrade the shop, and so because one thing I, I one thing I got tired of, and I'm pretty sure you guys did as well, was I only did when it comes to me at 
the, the workbench, I had one angle. Now I have four. So let's actually explore those angles really quick and see if you guys like them. I hope you do because I haven't tested it out, but let's see how it is. All right, so this is the other angle that we're able to use now instead of just one. And I'm actually excited about this one. I think this one's actually my favorite angle. And also after, uh, this is my second time filming this because my memory card glitched out. Uh, so I could actually now stand in these videos, which I think is seriously awesome. And I love this shop. This shop is majorly gonna change on what I can do in here and I'm making some more changes as well. This channel is no longer gonna use logs as a testing. We are gonna use actual building materials. And so this is gonna be like the new test now, which also means I think we could uh, opt out on the 10 inch, uh, half inch lags. I think we're gonna go max up to eight inches. And so it's 10 inch lags is just, it's not necessary. That's impact wrench job. We'll do the 10 inch lags with the impact wrenches, but for the drill drivers and impact drivers, we are gonna do eight inch lags. But yeah, this is gonna be the test from now on and also with two by fours and uh, four by sixes. These are four, two four by fours clamped together. And so, yeah, like I said, major changes are coming to the channel. Uh, I'm making a major adjustments. Something needed to be done. Something needed to be changed because I kept on doing the same routine and even I got a little bored with it. So time to make some changes. So this is just one of the angles. I hope you guys like it. Please leave it uh, in the comments below if you guys do. I seriously would like your feedback to see what you guys like the most. And so, yeah, let's all go over to, to another angle. All right, so this is another angle that I that we could actually do at the workbench. This workbench is amazing, you guys. I'm not gonna lie, I am so proud of this. We do have some videos coming up, a lot of videos, including the brand new sander. I wanted to see how this is against the previous model. Why Ryobi is making brushed tools still, like brand new brush tools is beyond me. Everything from here on out from any co tool company needs to be brushless. It's like, why make brush tools still? It's like, why? TTI, you're messing up on that. You really need to stop making brushed tools. And same thing with Milwaukee, get your brush tools off the line, make your brushless tools a little bit cheaper so you don't have to waste money shipping all those weaker, bad tools. You know, it's, you'll save so much money, you will. And I also did get the digital tire inflator for work because the one that we have at work fried out. Brushed, by the way. Those videos are coming up. I'm seriously curious on how well the sanders are going to do. We have a video for, we have a video coming out where I'll be using that in a real situation. My friend and I are building a river table together, our second one, and this time it's gonna be red with a lighter wood. So please let me know in the comments if you guys like this angle. Uh, I personally, the, uh, guys, I'm not gonna lie, this, I, I can't stop saying it. This shop is, it's amazing, it really is. Like I put, you can, you can tell that I put my heart and soul in, into this thing just to make it look, look like it does, you know, it's, I love it. But like I said, there is a benefit of having this as well. I no longer, I am no longer required to sit. No bits in focus, but I'm able to stand now and do videos like this. And I'm so excited about this, you guys. I am, the channel needed to change. Even I was getting bored with it. It was like a routine and it was just, here's the reality. Like when it comes to all these tools on the wall in the beginning, it was awesome. It was fun and it was something that not everyone actually got to see so many tools on the wall and then after a few years it gets old and i needed something to actually work with and this is actually good i have so much space as you can see right here this is about nine inches from the link system and if you take the link system out it's seriously this is it's a big table this really is a big table and like i said i could now stand and do these videos i seriously this is great this is gonna be a, a good watch from, from here on out. And I'm just so excited about the new test that I'm coming up. And like I said, no more logs. So all the logs that I currently have are by the fire pit pile and uh, gonna burn those. So, and that also good news, I no longer have to go venturing out and finding logs that are available. Uh, I don't have to go to strangers' houses anymore to pick up their logs. 
So now I just could go to the local uh, hardware store and Home Depot or Lowe's or Menards. I get my wood from Home Depot because it's the closest. So that's what we're gonna be testing out on. My friend Jack helped me out with this. Uh, he wants to get more into tools, so we're gonna do another project in the future. And uh, and yeah, this is this is great. This is seriously awesome. All right, so let's actually explore this and see how this actually is. I got a video coming out, the Ryobi Air Cannon. I actually, uh, uh, this was glitching out on me big time and it wasn't working. It would run at like a quarter of the speed that it's supposed to, but I took it apart and got it back working. The metal shelving right here, I got the brad nailer, I got the crown nailer, I got the radio, which I love this radio, you guys. It's a, it is actually is a good radio. Got my Hilton Neuron circular saws right here. I got my heart circular saw, my cobalt circular saw. Got my uh, sockets over here. I got some lights, my charger. I got my uh, bench grinder. Got the old sander, which versus video coming up. And so, yeah, it's a, this actually is good. I got to get something for the chainsaws. I don't want them just sitting on the floor. I just so you guys know this uh, Ryobi shop vac, I'm not a fan of this. I'm not a fan of this shop vac at all. Uh, a, a lot of dust comes out of the seams and to me that's no good. Uh, it was okay a few, a few years ago, but it's actually, I do not like that shop vac. I don't use it anymore. Since I got the, the Hilti vacuum over there, this is where all the extra tools are stored. This is the stuff that I normally don't uh, do videos on anymore just because they're brushed or they're too old because uh, a newer model of a tool came out and that's on the wall. But yeah, this is pretty heavy. It is pretty heavy. This is the Ryobi link system. My table saw right there, my 10 inch dual battery to Ryobi brushless uh, sliding miter saw over there. Got this, this is where my testing stuff is at. Got the, that's DeWalt. Got the link system with more testing stuff. It's actually a very nice shop. Great vacuum, by the way. That's a very good vacuum. Nothing comes out of the seams. Apps, like zero dust comes out of the seams. I love that vacuum. Most important wall right here. This is where I'm, I'm a mechanic more than I am a carpenter. So this wall, to, this is my most important tools is right here. This is my go-to wall. I maintain my engines myself. The only thing I don't do is I don't maintain the, uh, I don't change the oil in cars. And that's because by me, it's only like $15 cheaper to do your own oil change, which you still probably have to get rid of the oil and oil filter. And I'd rather not have to deal with that. And your fluids get, if you take it to a dealership like I do, your fluids get changed. You know, they give you an update on, the maintenance of your car because I take that maintenance list and I actually fix what needs to get fixed like the brakes or brakes or something like that and that stuff I know how to do like maintenance like that got my bits right here I didn't want them on the surface of the surface of the bench anymore hope I'm in focus I got to get used to this stuff and I got like I said I have to change the settings on the camera so I'm sorry if I'm underexposed or if I'm overexposed but yeah, this, this is a good fresh start for the channel. I'm very excited about this. I can't wait for uh, the future of the channel. And like I said, big things were coming to the channel and they are here. They seriously are here. I can't, I can't believe I got this done in a couple of days. It's from start to finish, taking everything down, destroying everything, which I'll show you guys right now. I have a lot of stuff in the bed of my truck. That's because I got to throw it away a little at a time or take it to a place and just dump it. So I got to, I got to find that out in my, uh, in my area where I just can take it to a legitimate place to throw it away. I'm not a fan of just throwing it in some random dumpster on a construction site because they pay for that. So it's the right thing to do. So I got to find a legitimate place to throw that stuff away. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you like the new setup. Please let me know in the comments what you think. I seriously can't believe we got this done in a couple of days. And yeah, it's, it's fantastic. I love this. I, and I thank you guys so much for sticking with the channel as long as you did. You know, even though I'm not uploading as often as I should, 
or answering comments as I should, which that's coming up. I got the new laptop for it. I'm able to upload longer. Uh, I'm able to upload more data, like 4K videos now, and so I have been, and it is fantastic. So that's pretty much it, you guys. Hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos, and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.